What's up guys? Today is a special day for me because I get to try a cigar that I've been wanting to try for a long time. Stay tuned. For Pete's sake, have a cigar. So a cigar line that I've always been really fond of uh, for a very long time, but I've never tried any just because I didn't want to pony up the dough for it, was Padron. So today, I uh, actually I should say this week, I managed to get out and get a Padron 1964 anniversary. And I'm super excited to try it. Um, I know I have to be very delicate because it has just the single cap on here. Um, but like I said, it's been a cigar that I have really wanted to try. Um, I think this company has a very big reputation to keep and uh, so I'm going to cut this up and light this up and let's go and see how it is. I guess you could say I'm de-virginized in the, the cigar world. All the big timers always talk about smoking all these Padrones. I can't say that I can do that. This band's kind of loose enough. I guess I'll just take that right off. Has a really nice uh, taste in the mouth uh, without even lighting it up. Very nice. All right, here we go. Finally. This wind is just killing me out here. Finally got it lit. I really haven't read any reviews on these. I just wanted to dive into it because I didn't want to have any like preconceived ideas on what this might taste like. The Retro Hill is definitely very strong. That's kind of the first thing I go to is uh, a straight retro hail just to see how is this going to taste or what's the boldness of this flavor that I'm going to get and so far it's it's a, a big kick but it's good I'm getting nice uh, touches of uh, cocoa a lot of spice thrown in there I don't know about if there is any pepper but um, the spice is definitely there It's weird because right after the first light when I was retrohaling it a little bit more, it's already calmed down, but it's like it, it burns, but it's a pleasant burn in the nostrils if that is something that may intrigue you. Um, I find it really enjoyable actually. So my apologies, right around Easter, I got so busy, I was helping my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law move to a new house, and I just couldn't get any videos out, and uh, so I'm trying to shoot a few up this weekend. Uh, coming up in my next video, uh, today's Friday, but Saturday I will be shooting some footage down at City News, which is our local tobacco store in downtown Mansfield that a lot of people like to go to. And so I'll be doing some uh, footage down there. It should be pretty exciting, so i uh, look for that to come out soon. I was looking forward to all of you meeting my dog, Gabby. Gabby, girl. Come here. Come over here. Come show everybody what you look like, cutie pie. Come here. Come here. This is Gabby. Gabby girl, hey, don't be shy. Come here, get up here. Come show everybody who you are, yes. She's an old girl, she's 11, gonna be 12 this year. She may even help me do a few uh, drawing picks uh, for my Hump Day Cigar giveaway. Uh, should be fun. Well, right back here where I'm sitting, right behind me is my veggie garden. And kind of right down here in front of me is my fire pit. It is an area I love to come back here and just chill in the evenings. I'm hoping to bring you guys along uh, for a couple adventures this summer. I'll be definitely having a lot of fires out back here and uh, looking forward to it. Been all been cooped up here in Ohio for too long for this winter. I think everybody's ready to 
I just blow up and get outside. Well, as far as this Padrone goes, it is ramped up for myself. It is definitely a medium, but more on the full range of uh, flavor. I don't know about strength yet. I haven't gotten far enough through it to know what the strength of this will be as far as uh, nicotine blast or anything like that. You definitely don't need as much smoke to get tons of flavor from this one. I'm used to medium to mild medium maybe. I'll call it after having this one. And uh, you have to have a lot more smoke to get the flavor. This one, um, wow. <laughs> like I said, this is my first one. I definitely did not expect the spicy kick that I got from this one. But it's very good though. I like it. It's definitely got a zing. Um, but I can see why so many people like these, especially people that like full flavored cigars. Um, this is definitely a good one. I would definitely consider getting some more of these. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to Simple Diversion. I'm really digging their channel. Um, they have a lot of good content over there, cigars. Uh, they just came out with one I watched on my way home from work. Um, it was about scotch. Um, these guys, their dynamic in what they do is really, really cool. And uh, so if you get a chance, stop over and see them. I'm hoping maybe, hopefully they'll see this and maybe want to do a collaboration with me someday. Uh, so anyways, maybe comment below and see if you guys think that might be a good idea. The smoke on this Padron, um, I've always heard people talk about the smoke being really thick and kind of chewy. This is definitely that. I kind of understand now what they're saying. I really haven't had many cigars that are like this. Um, but it's when you get the spice in there, you can kind of just almost chew on the air in your mouth and continue to taste what's in the cigar. So it's really a unique experience. I haven't had anything quite like this. This cigar is also very well constructed. Right here, as you can see, this ash is still holding on. It hasn't dropped off yet. I'm probably about 15 minutes in or so, uh, maybe going on 20. Um, this box pressed is, you know, really, really nice. The spice continues to die down on the retrohale. It's now really smooth, um, and the cocoa is very smooth. Um, I can see how this would be a dessert type cigar for some people. Oh, I just had a son of a moment. I think Brian kind of, Brian Glenn copyrighted the son of a moment. My ash was about two inches long. I was seeing how long I could get it to hold on for, but son of a, here we go. I was giving you an update here. This stick is really amazing. Um, I've also heard people always talk of transitional sticks. This one off first light is super, super aggressive, I'll call it. And then it backs off and now the smell is like, uh, it's like chocolate cake from a distance. A really good, sweet cigar smell. And uh, it is transitioned, all the spice is backed off and it's very, very enjoyable now. I'm really digging this thing. I've always been a fan of medium and medium full, and this is definitely in my book. On first light, is a full, it backs off to a medium, medium full um, after a little while, but it is a super good cigar. I can see why they get so much for these. Very, very good. It's to the point where I'm trying to pace myself because you just want to smoke and smoke and smoke this thing because it tastes so good. But our cigar outlet up in Norwalk um, I may have to do a video up there sometime. It's called the Havana Cigar Outlet. They had these things for 17 bucks, and uh, like I said, I don't really like to spend that much on cigars, um, but I decided for this one one time I would do it, and uh, so you guys are getting to witness me doing this for the first time. <laughs> I wanted to give one more shout out, and this one goes out to Romeo Rory. You've heard me shout out to him before. His channel, in my opinion, is it's very unique and it, to me it's very spectacular because he hunts around, he does the research, which I really don't have the patience for, I just kind of see things come up in my feed. He takes the time to dig through and search and research um, different cigar channels, uh, people that have anything to do with cigars, and he watches them for a little while. And these are brand new channels too. Um, if you want to learn about all of the latest cigar channels and what's out there, he is a very, very, very good resource to go to to find out about that stuff. 
That's how I learned about Simple Diversion. And I feel like kind of without him, I may not have found those guys. Um, so like I said, it's almost like Cigar News in a way. And I told him that he has a natural way of talking about these channels that's uh, very interesting, very appealing to other people. So like I said, if you get a chance, stop by his channel and check him out. Give him a subscription. Give him a comment. Boost his day. He loves doing that kind of stuff. And I would love to see him get more subscribers and continue to grow. The Padrone is still killing it. Uh, it has backed off on all of the vamped up spice and everything else and now it is a perfect blend in my opinion of a little bit of spice, a little bit of cocoa, a little sweetness in, intermixed in there, a little bit of maybe like hayish flavor and some earth thrown in there. The earth is very light um, but it is a very creamy good stick and the natural sweetness um, I'll say about 20 minutes in um, is really killer. So just to recap on this wonderful stick it is the Padron 1964 Anniversary Edition and on every level the construction, the taste, the strength, the smell, everything in my book gets five stars um, if you were scaling on a scale of one to five. Um, it is a solid stick, it has bold flavors at first, it backs them off but the bold flavors still are coming through here and there. I just can't get over the smell of this thing though, the smell is just absolutely wonderful. It's kind of a cocoa-y dessert smell that I get from it. It's what you would really smell in like a cigar shop. That blended cigar smoke that you smell when you walk in is just absolutely great. I'm going to continue to enjoy this stick down to the nub. Thanks so much for joining me for this edition of For Pete's Sake Have a Cigar. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll catch you soon. Oops.